All right. So what I want you to do, I'm sure you guys know this by now. Make a lot of noise. Put your hands together. For our second female of the evening, give it up for Heather Graham. George, Tyler Graham, but that's okay. So you guys having a good time tonight? Yeah. Good, good. So are you guys enjoying this weather? Yes. It's um, nice, right? It's finally cooled off. But you know what? You know what I really miss about summer? Sweaty boobs. Yeah. I seem to collect these rivers of sweat, one down the middle of my chest and one underneath my boobs. Yeah, it's pretty gross. And by the end of a summer day, my bra is saturated. Yeah. And ladies, if you live here in Hong Kong, you know what I'm talking about. Right in the summertime, and some of the big guys might too. <laughs> so this whole sweaty boob thing has become quite an issue for me, right? So I've come up with a solution for sweaty boobs. Detachable breasts. Now I know it sounds crazy, but just hear me out, okay? There could be a whole line of different boobs available to fit our needs, right? Heck, even men could buy a pair. I'm sure they could figure out something to do with them. <laughs> but the point is, ladies, if it's hot and humid, you wouldn't even have to wear them that day. Right? But for a Saturday night out in the town, you could throw in a pair of double Ds. <laughs> like yours. Those are nice. Those are nice. I mean, they already sell detachable nipples, so why not detachable breasts? Have you guys seen these new nipples that they're selling? No? Nobody? Well, apparently they're designed to draw more attention to women's breasts. Yes. Apparently men weren't staring blatantly enough before. <laughs> so I'm, a, I'm an English teacher at a local primary school here in Hong Kong, and I've had some great experiences with students and some not so great experiences. For example, last year, um, a grade six boy was mad at me for not giving him a turn in the game we were playing. Well, after a while, he stopped being so annoying, so I finally gave him a turn at the blackboard. When his turn was over, he decided to write, Rubbish you, with an arrow pointing at me. Yeah, nice kid. My first thought was, you little shit. But then I thought, well, at least he conveyed his message in English, and I understand what he's trying to say. So I punched him in the face. <laughs> and then I told him, it's you are rubbish. If you're going to insult me in English, get it right. <laughs> Well, this little teachable moment backfired on me because shortly after the incident, this kid was even telling the principal, you are rubbish. <laughs> yeah, I don't work there anymore. <laughs> so now I'm actually trying to launch my singing career. Um, I love singing, but I'm just an amateur. But recently, though, I decided to take it to the next level, and I recorded some of my music. In fact, if you call our house when we're not home, you'll hear this little number. You are my fire, the one desire, just leave a message, a call, you later, tell me why you wanna talk to me, let me know, and I'll be so happy, beep. <laughs> voicemail too. So, <laughs> see me after the show, I'll hook your phone up. <laughs> so I do have to mention my husband. He has been such a such a big supporter of my music hobby. Um, love him very much. In fact, last year when we were living in South Korea, I thought I'd surprise him and get a Brazilian wax. Yeah, you know the one where they remove everything down there. Yeah, sexy stuff. Well, I was really nervous at first and I knew it was going to hurt having all hair ripped off my crotch, right? So I'm la lying there on the table with my legs spread wide open while this little cream gal plays hot wax all over my boots. Well, after the first rip, I can't help but let out a, oh God. So she can obviously tell my pain, right? So do you know what that sweet little woman does to help ease my pain? blows all over my crotch after each rip, rip, rip. I was so shocked, I didn't even get a laugh or a hugger because it really did help. Well, thinking back now, I just really wish I would have had the whole experience on video because, come on, it's priceless. I've since found out this is not the normal procedure, so it'll probably never happen to me again. But the cool thing is, I can tell people I've been on the receiving end of a blowjob. <laughs> That's 
All right. Okay, so for my last bit, I just want to um, maybe teach you guys a few brain teasers, some word games. So I need one brave man to volunteer up here on Sam. stage. Sam! And I heard Sam is the man tonight. <laughs> All right, oh, Sam. <laughs> Don't worry, it won't hurt. People are gonna laugh at you, but that's okay. <laughs> no, it's not a wax, but maybe later. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you a word, and I need you to say it 10 times fast, okay? So the first word is host. So you just say host, host, host. Okay, are you ready? Host, 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 host. What do you put in a toaster? Toast, host, 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 host. Oh, just give me the answer when I ask. <laughs> Do it again, do it again. So say host ten times. Host. What do you put in a toaster? Okay, but when I give you a question, you can just say bread. Just one time. Or toast, whatever. Okay. Okay. He's doing good. He's doing good. Okay. Your next word is silk. 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 What do cows drink? What do cows drink? Okay, got another one. He's doing good. Good job. Okay. The next word is pots. P O T S. Pots. Pots, 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 pots. What do you do when you come to a green light? You were going to say stop. Okay. You're doing? It is. It is. Okay. I've got one more. One more thing. This is a spelling. Spelling game, okay? It's okay, it's just three letter words. I'm gonna tell you a three letter word. Okay, first I need you to say I, as in your eyeball. I want you to spell the three letter word and then say ness. Okay, for example, if I say cat, you would say I C A T ness. Got it? Okay, here's your first word dog. I dog ness. Okay, so I C A T. So you spell the word dog. Okay, are you ready? So dog. I D O G. Yes. Yeah, okay, your next word, are you ready? Okay, next word, map. I M A P. What was that? M A S. <laughs> okay, let's give Sam a big hand. Sam, you did it. You did it. That was so much fun. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. And that's it for me. My name is Heather George. You guys have a good night.